In this field, it has probably seen a cow eight or ten times. Uh, she is a little dual right mare, a little hard headed and stuff. So, <clears throat> oh baby. Hi, baby. But she knows she's special. She knows I love her. And uh, to me, that's the most important thing that a uh, horse has to know. We got to come friends before we can teach him anything. Well, he's warming up. I think a good thing to talk about is something he touched on as far as getting to learn from him uh, in today's day and age it's real easy to fall into a lot of structure to the point to where structure means more than than trying to get a horse to figure out what's ab about to happen and be so confident in his job that he's still patient enough to read the cow and see a quick cow and still slow down. Uh, I think that that, for example, the futurity, it's uh, real easy for a horse to get talked into speed. And I feel like... Yes, look at that beautiful move right there. I paid on it. This is a game that she's developing between her and the cow. I am only the coach. I'm not the horse trainer. That's the big problem we have. We learn how to train horses, and now we go overboard training them instead of allow the cow to help us to do the training. Easy, baby. Easy right there. Easy. Yes. I think watching him work, work that two-year-old, you know, that horse will make a little kind of a playful buck move or or something and and uh, sometimes we can translate it and I say we not just everyone else we as human beings translate that as bad but that horse doesn't know how to how to describe how cowy it is so it's just a bunch of just and then it just you know, a little explosive sometimes, but all it is is excitement about what we're doing. And, uh, and if, if we don't take that out, we just welcome it. It'll, that, that stuff deteriorates pretty, pretty quick. But if you, if you address it as a negative, then what happens is, is it, this this job becomes negative and uh, but it works really good the combination that uh, I go too slow and he speeds him up and, and uh, we're trying to stretch the horse it's like a rubber band you stretch it and you stretch it but you don't want to break it you got to know when to stop you got to know when to quit so uh it's working out great. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, our program, I think, I feel real confident. It's one of the best programs that we have in, in the United States or the world. And uh, I love to teach people how to work a cow because it's the only, the only thing we can survive with.